Hello students. Today I will uh, discuss about heterosis and hybrid seed production. One of you have asked me how heterosis helps in production of hybrid seed production. So first I will discuss about heterosis, then about hybrid seed production and what is the, what is the role of heterosis in hybrid seed production. Okay. First we come to history of heterosis. To understand heterosis, first we should know the concept of sexuality. It was first given by Rodolf Camerarius and he was the first to understand the plant sexuality. He had uh, considered that apex with pollen are male and he has studied many dioecious and monoecious plants uh, for the study of plant sexuality. Joseph Gettelev Karl Rutter from 1733 to 1806. He was the he has done the first systemic experiment on plant hybridization using tobacco, nicotina paniculate and nicotina rustica. He demonstrated that hybrid resemble both parents. He experimentally verified the genetic contribution of pollen and he was the first to observe hybrid vigor that is heterosis. Thomas Andrew Knight from 1759 to 1838 he described dominance and segregation in the garden field. Charles Darwin, 1809-1882. He has written a book on the origin of species in 1859. He has discussed variability and evolution. And uh, he was the only who has uh, given the concept of survival of the fittest. Although we utilize his variability and evolution concept in heterosis. Gregor John Mendel from 1822 to 1884. He is regarded as father of genetics. He has crossed P, intercrossed uh, progeny, classified and uh, count segregation of trait. He has formulated the law of genetics concerning transmission of genetic information. And this is uh, the first genetic basis of heterosis, which has been given by uh, Mendel, and uh, we utilize his concept till date. Let us see the contribution of the scientist. In 1766, Carl Rutter has given uh, hybrid vigor in Nicotina. In 1799, Knight has given the principle of anti-inbreeding. In 1865, Mendel has given the concept of hybrid vigor in P. In 1877, Darwin has told that cross-fertilization is beneficial. In 1880, Bale has first published report that 51% increase in yield over parents. In 1891, Johnson has given the concept that crossing gave better offspring. In 1892, McClure has given the concept that inbreeding imparted sterility and crossing imparted hybrid vigor, that is heterosis. Let us see some scientists and their concept. Simpson has given the concept of rejuvenation of by hybridization. East and Hayes has given uh, the concept of stimulus of heterozygosis. Shell has coined the term heterosis. And Jones, 1880, has given the practical utilization of heterosis. 
let us see some nomenclature in uh, heterosis. Number one is heterozygosis. It was proposed by East and Hayes in 1912. They told that crossing produces heterozygosis while selfing leads to homozygosis. The term heterosis was proposed by Shell in 1914. He used the term heterosis for the same phenomenon that is heterozygosis. Hybrid vigor. Jones in 1980, it is synonyms of Shell's heterosis. Heterobaltiosis, it was proposed by Biltzer in 1968 and increased, it shows increased performance of hybrid over both of their parents. Euheterosis, Euheterosis was proposed by Dobbs Hansky in 1950. And according to him, hybrid possess higher fitness than their parents. And one more term comes that is luxurance. It was also proposed by Dobbs Hansky in 1950. It is extreme heterosis for morphological character but no fitness. Positive and negative heterosis. Powers in 1944 proposed the term positive and negative heterosis. Positive heterosis for hybrid vigor and negative heterosis for inferiority of hybrid over their parents. Adaptive heterosis. McKay in 1976 proposed heterosis for adaptability. Selective heterosis. It was also proposed by McKay in 1976, heterosis for competitive ability, luxurant heterosis. It was also proposed by McKay in 1796 uh, to increase vigor in size but not in fitness. This is utilized in flowering plants. Lebai heterosis. It was also proposed by McKay in 17, 17, 1976. Uh, where heterosis which is not fixable. Fixed heterosis, McKay 1976, fixed by various mechanism. Heterosis or hybrid vigor is the superiority of F1 hybrid over uh, parents in one or more characters. Uh, it is uh, increase in vigor, growth, yield function of a hybrid over uh, their parents resulting from crossing of genetically unlike uh, organism. Uh, it is uh, an improved or increased function of any biological quality in hybrid offspring. Uh, the offspring exhibit heterosis or outbreeding enhancement if it enhance, uh, uh, it enhancement in any trade is as a result of mixing of genetic contribution of both of parent due to Mendelian or non-Mendelian inheritance, but in some cases hybrid may be inferior to the weaker parent. It is regarded as negative heterosis. Hybrid vigor has been exploited in both, uh, both self and uh, cross-pollinated species. The expression of heterosis is restricted to hybrid individual that is F1 generation and is dissipates in the advanced generation or in the progeny derived from it due to segregation and recombination which uh, disturb the original heterotic combination of genes. Uh, this makes it imperative that hybrid seed be produced every every time since the hybrid breaks down in succeeding generation this is uh, one of the drawback uh, uh, suppose we have uh, taken a character which is uh, expressing in uh, f1 generation 
but in F2 generation due to secretion or due to some recombination that character is not expressing. So we have to uh, reproduce both the parent again and again to get F1 generation to for the hybrid seed. Uh, preservation of heterotic expression is however possible if fixation of hybridity. That is hybrid combination giving heterosis is maintained from one generation to another generation. The tendency of expression of the features of both the parents to the hybrid is the basis of heterosis. Heterosis uh, occur when two homozygous individuals are cross-pollinated. This cause all loci to become heterozygous. The increased heterozygosity risk cause increased plant vigor. Benefit of increased vigor is increased yield, better stability, better germination, overall better performance. Now come to type of heterosis. Two type of heterosis. Number one is euheterosis. Number two is pseudoheterosis. Euheterosis is further divided into mutational heterosis and balanced heterosis. Euheterosis. It is two type of heterosis. In this, uh, uh, there are two types. Number one is mutational euheterosis. Number two is balanced euheterosis. Mutational euheterosis is simplest type and it results from shattering or shadowing of deleterious unfavorable gene. It is often uh, lethal recessive uh, mutant gene and uh, since it is lethal the recessive gene does not survive while the dominant gene is superior and it is adaptive and it is it survives hence uh, mutational u heterosis depends on dominance of required character while in balance u heterosis it is actually a phenomenon of over dominance heterosis because uh, it is two type of heterosis it consists considers both the uh, character of both the parent, both adaptive character of both the parent, which are superior and uh, it has better adaptive quality and it is of uh, agriculture, uh, agricultural use and it, is, uh, it has balanced gene combination. Pseudoheterosis. This is basically a phenomenon. Uh, by which the crossing of two parent forms or uh, an accidental excessive and uh, it is unadaptable expression of temporary vigor. And uh, it means that uh, the, in pseudoheterosis the uh, expression is in F1 generation and uh, it is uh, but it uh, it cannot be uh, further transmitted in further generation and this cannot be utilized in breeding programs as uh, the vigor is temporary it may be a uh, luxurious growth or vegetative outgrowth but it is not fit and it is uh, not adaptable character so it is called pseudo heterosis it is just a pathological heterosis. It is just appearing in this generation, but it is not uh, heritable. Heterosis is estimated in three different ways. Number one is mid-parent heterosis. Number two is better parent heterosis. And number three is standard heterosis. Mid-parent heterosis. When the heterosis is estimated, over the mid parent that is mean value or average value of two parent it is known as mid parent heterosis it is also known as average heterosis or relative heterosis it is calculated by the formula f1 minus mp upon mp into 100 where f1 is uh, the f1 hybrid and mp is the mean of two parent the yield of F1 will be in between the both parent that, that is uh, it is 
called mid pad mid of both parent and it is called mid parent heterosis better parent heterosis when the heterosis is estimated over the better parent it is known as better parent heterosis uh, it is also known as heterobelteosis and it is calculated by f1 minus bp upon bp into 100 where bp is the better parent uh, we can say if uh, to, to, if one parent is tall and one is short and if, if we have taken height as a character then uh, the better uh, better parent heterosis will consider the tall uh, parent and it will be considered as bp and on the basis of this better parent if the offspring has more height than this uh, uh, taller parent then it is called better parent heterosis or heterobelteosis standard heterosis it refers to the superiority of f1 over the standard commercial check variety it is also called economic heterosis or useful heterosis and it is calculated using the formula f1 minus check upon check into 100 where check is the standard commercial variety uh, now heterosis leads to increase in yield reproduction ability adaptability disease and insect resistant general vigor quality extra the most for most of the character the desirable heterosis is positive but some character like earliness height of cereal toxic substance it is negative heterosis heterosis theory dominance hypothesis this is given by Devonport in 1908 and Bruce in 1910. Over the dominance hypothesis, it was given by Hull in 1945 and Crow in 1948. Marginal over dominance, it was given by Wallace in 1968. Phytohormones, that is gibberellic acid, given by Rude et al. 1988. DNA methylation given by Safteris et al. 1997. Metabolic balance by Hegeman and Lampert 1988. Metabolic control theory by D. Vanney 1999. And complementation for absence of gene by Few and Donor in 2000.